Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 419 899 2020. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 419-899-2020. Again, that's 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a one owner 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular with 87,503 miles. Alrighty folks, here we are inside of this 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular. As usual, we're going to start in the front, work our way towards the rear, try to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976, started by Levi and I's mom and dad. Today, we specialize in hard-to-find small motorhomes. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process. We have a very talented crew here. We're blessed to have those guys, and they go through each and every one of these RVs before they hit the web to make sure they're ready to go. I'm not saying we're perfect or they're perfect, but anything that is not what we said it is, we'll do what we can to make it right. If you're looking to make a trip out to see us, you can fly into Toledo, Ohio, or Fort Wayne, Indiana. Either one of those are around 45 minutes to an hour away. Also, Detroit, Michigan is not much further. You can also rent an Enterprise car one way and drop that off near us in Defiance, Ohio. A few blemishes on the, the driver's seat here. I'll point those out while we're going over that. One over there as well. You can rent that Enterprise car one way to Defiance, Ohio, drop that off and head home. Or of course, you can also come see us in your vehicle. Um, just some ways you can eliminate having two vehicles if you're looking to come purchase an RV. This is a Carfax one owner unit. So we purchased this one in Southern Illinois from the gentleman who purchased it when it was new. This is a Carfax one owner. We've got the generator start stop switch here. That's an Onan 2800 generator with 188 hours. That does have a fresh service and oil change by our certified Onan technicians. That generator runs off of the fuel tank. So that will stop running around a quarter tank. That way it's not possible to strand yourself. Um, you can use that anytime you'd like. That's going to charge your coach battery as well as power your 110 AC devices in the coach like your uh, roof air conditioner or potentially your refrigerator, microwave. We've got the water heater on off switch here. So that runs off of propane. You'll go ahead and turn that on there. We've got your levels test here. So push this button here. We'll tell you how much is in your tanks as well as your propane gauge and your coach battery. We've got the water pump on off switch as well as your coach battery disconnect. The coach battery disconnect prevents there being parasitic draw on the coach batteries because there's so much stuff hooked to them. So you'll turn that off while you're storing it. That also disconnects the charging systems. Um, so the way the coach battery charges is off the alternator while you drive, off of the generator or off of the shore power plug-in. We've got your um, fuse panel here. Got a little bit of storage space over the entry door here. So we'll take a look at how you get inside of this road trek from the rear door. You can make this into a sleeper here in the front so you can swivel the passenger chair and make this into a connected sleeper with this chair here. So that is how this unit sleeps three is by swiveling the chair here and making up the gap here to create a bed. We've also got your porch light switch and a cup holder on the door there. We do have screened windows throughout on this one. So this one does have a lot of windows that open that you can get some good airflow in here. I'm gonna do a 180 on you and head over to the kitchen. We've got some good overhead storage on this one. Got a 110 outlet there as well. So you can plug in your coffee maker or some of your goodies here while you're making breakfast. Got the standard Road Trek style countertop here with a single basin sink. We've got a two burner propane cooktop. We've also got several drawers below here. Some of your books in there. Down below the counter here, we've got another drawer as well as some storage beneath. That is one of your tables tucked right there. So that table can be made up in the front here. 
or you can use that in the rear of the coach as well. There's another table mount in the floor. You've got your water pump and the back of your water heater. This window does not open. It's one of the only, actually, actually the only window in the rear of the coach that doesn't open. Moving along to the center here, we'll check out the fridge freezer first. We've got a drawer below for some more storage. These are very cleverly designed for storage. This is a three-way fridge freezer. So you've got the fridge portion and then the freezer up top here as well. That's controlled via the controls on the front there. That's a three-way, meaning it runs on AC, so your shore power plug-in, your generator, DC, meaning your coach battery. You will have to have something charging that coach battery, so like driving down the road off the alternator, or also propane gas. We've got a Samsung toast and bake microwave oven here. This does heat up. I'm sorry, we've got a light a little wonky here. I think the bulb's going out. We'll check that out later. Another overhead storage compartment. Got your road check manuals in here. One of the nice things about meeting the people we get these from, I've um, even got the original road check here, the license plate cover. I love my road check. One of the nice things about getting these from private owners is we get to meet these people and see how they used the unit. In the center here, we've got the fantastic fan overhead that runs off of 12 volts, your coach battery. You can use that anytime. It works as the exhaust fan for the shower, which we'll check out here momentarily. And you can also use that like an attic fan. So you can use that to draw air in from the outside at night if you open the windows and um, just bring in that cool outside air. Stepping here closer to the center of the coach to the bathroom area. We've got a wardrobe closet, so you can hang some of your goodies in there. We've got a table leg there, as well as a drawer and your propane furnace. These doors here flip out to provide privacy from the rear of the coach. If you'd like to do that while you're sleeping back there or perhaps for the bathroom shower feature. So we'll swing around here and check out the shower. So this is in the center of the coach here. We've got the shower head overhead, as you can see, as well as that track where the shower curtain will go around. Spot for your toilet paper, controls for the shower, some uh, storage there for some soaps. Toilet area here, so it's a nice, easily accessible toilet. We've also got a similar flip out on this door, so you could open this up as well to block off the front part of the coach. You could use this if you'd like to leave the restroom accessible at night and still block off the front. So again, there's that track where that goes around. You can just use that fantastic fan there while you're showering. Flipping back around towards the rear here, we have another storage cabinet right here. Again, lots of storage cleverly designed in these small vans to be able to take a lot of stuff with you, but remain small and stealthy. Here in the rear of the coach, we've got the overhead AC in the back there. We've also got the TV antenna crank there overhead. The AC in the back is a cool cat heat pump as well. So that means it will operate on electricity to provide heat that will only work down to around 40 degrees. Below that, you will have to use your propane furnace. The AC function um, works on 110 only. So your generator or your shore power plug-in. Some more storage cabinets here. There's a screen for the rear, so you can go ahead and put the screen on the rear and open these doors. So there's an attachment where that screen can fit in here. These windows both open and have screens. That is not always the case that those rear windows open. You've also got a window that opens there and opposite it there. So you can get a really good fresh air effect in this unit. Show you some more of this overhead storage quick while we're back here. This is the area where the DVD player is typically housed. We often replace these TVs with these new flat screens over here, and they have the DVD player built into the back of the screen. So that way you get some more storage space in here, but you do have a 12 volt plug-in. So if you'd like to plug in a uh, 12 volt charger and use this as a charging station for your iPad or your phone or something like that, you can do that as well. Back here in the rear sleeping area, 
this is a very popular setup to have these two twin sleepers like this. So essentially you can sleep two people like this separately. It's already all made up and ready for you to go. You can just swing your legs out at night and easily go to the restroom. You can also take these little wing nuts off the side of this nightstand. It will fit on the floor. There's a table beneath this cushion. So you can use that table in the rear to make this into a dinette, or you can also use that in combination with some boards to make up this area. The cushions from the back will fit into this spot here to go ahead and make up the full bed if you'd like to make this area one big bed, or you can go ahead and use it as it is, which is a very popular option. That way you don't have to do any work when it's time for bed. Moving down below here, we've got some storage throughout beneath the beds on this one. Go ahead and check that out. Just a little storage compartment there. Got a noxious gas detector. These two access the storage that is also accessible through the back doors of the coach. So if you'd like to store something larger in the rear of the coach that you can also access inside, you can do that here. Also got some more storage bins here. There's some of your valves for draining your tanks. Here we are sitting in the bed at the rear of the road trek. How does Moses make his coffee? He brews it. We've got a counter pull out here as well, so you can get a little bit of extra counter space here. I also wanted to point out a repair on the fiberglass uh, shower basin here that was done by the previous owner, so the shower still functions as it should. Essentially, this basin is one big wet dry area. When the road trek is parked level, the water will run forward into this trench drain. This prevents the water from getting in front of that, but if it does anyways, you are still okay, um, as that is one big wet dry area. We've got the um, thermostat that controls the overhead cool cat AC and heat pump, as well as the onboard propane furnace. Some lights in the back here. We've got curtains on all the windows in the back, as well as the front. There are those screens that open on the lower portion. In the rear, flipping around to the other side. We do have a 110 outlet here. Some more reading lights. This TV is set up on a swivel. So this TV can basically come out like so. This is nice because the front two chairs both swivel. So you can essentially swivel the passenger chair and watch it from the front. The driver's chair, although it does have the swivel mechanism on the base, the seating is not going to be so comfortable due to the steering wheel and the cabinet behind it. Um, still can technically swivel, but the passenger chair is going to be the best seat in the house for swiveling. Um, but you can watch the TV from the front if you'd like to do that. And somebody could still sleep in the back perhaps if you got an early riser and a late riser. Another noxious gas detector there underneath that cabinet. Here are the back cushions that will make up the full bed or are used as the backrest for the dinette. Very minimal blemishes in this one. It's a beautiful unit throughout. These sleepers measure approximately 75 inches long and 30 inches wide as they are individually made up like so. Or if you made it into one big bed, it will measure approximate, approximately 75 inches by 80 inches. So quite a good sleeping area for a camper van, not something you get on all of the units, and another reason why these wide body camper vans are so popular. We've got some window covers over the front windows there, so those are just some shades to be able to block out the sunlight if you like. Check out these storage rails here. Also got a storage compartment in the front here. well as another storage spot there. Got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. This is a nice clean unit. Minimal blemishes up front too, a few on the driver's seat, uh, but nothing gross or anything like that. This unit has been thoroughly cleaned. We're like your favorite umpire here at Coon Truck and RV. We call them like we see them. This is a beautiful road trek. For being a 2005, there is not much you can fold it for. A few minor blemishes, a small repair on the floor, um, but very, very minimal, very excellent paint on this one, very nice stripes, very beautiful throughout. I'm gonna call this one a 9.5 out of 10. There's no perfect RV out there, but this is a very nice unit, has a lot of life left. This Carfax One owner is ready to hit the highway today.
check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. All right, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2005 Road Trek 210 Popular 30th Anniversary Edition. This RV measures 22 feet bumper to bumper with an 11 foot awning. It has brand new tires. This RV is built on a Chevy 3500 chassis with a 6 liter Vortec V8 engine with around 87,500 miles. We've got a beautiful exterior on this one. We do have a minor boo boo on the hood there, as well as the Chevy emblem. Overall, excellent condition on the exterior. Paint is in very good condition. The stripes are in excellent condition. A beautiful unit. It also has the alloy wheels that really set it off from some of the others that just have the simulators. Got a little porch light there. We've got two coach batteries there. Those are both Trojan coach batteries. We've got a furnace exhaust here. Again, those nice rims. Got the support clevis for the awning, as well as a storage drawer there. Coming around to the back, we've got the exhaust area where the AC will exhaust out the back. We've got a fill for the winter tank. That's an onboard fresh water tank that is inside of the coach that gives you the ability to use some of the water systems during colder camping. We do not recommend using the systems it, regardless really in too cold or freezing weather. It's just dangerous. Um, if you have more questions about that and are planning to do cold weather camping, please ask us before the purchase and we can give you some suggestions. We've got your awning support rod. We've also got a full-size spare. These doors, there's one also over there that you can access this storage space while you are inside of the coach. We've also got your propane tank and your um, tow package here. We've also got a zipper there that goes around the back so you could have a screen that could zip inside of that. Going around to the driver's side. We've got the back of your fridge here as well as the exhaust over the stove, your water here your fuel tank fill that will run the engine as well as the generator. Um, your generator will stop running around a quarter tank. That way you cannot run yourself out of fuel. The generator is up where the spare tire normally would have been underneath the RV. Down here in this drawer, we've got access for the city water and the power. So we've got your city water hookup there, your cable TV hookup and your outside shower. This is the plug-in where the power cord goes. You can run the power cord and the water hose out of this porthole so you can close this drawer. There's some of your accessories, your power cord, outside shower, and some converters. We've got a compartment here. Nice size compartment that you can really take some extra goodies with you. We've also got your dump station here. So this one has a macerator pump. So the sewage and gray water will come out of this um, tube here. We've got the gates that open the gray and the black. And also inside the door here, we've got the button to activate the macerator pump as well as the fill for the main freshwater tank. I forgot to mention this well hidden compartment here inside the rear doors. It does have some good space to take some extra things along back here. 